Today in the news, we got some Zen 3 and some Intel. What's up guys, I'm Snows and this is your boot sequence. Let's get started with AMD. It's been a while since I said that. All right, so we've been waiting for quite a while on some new information about the next generation of Ryzen CPUs based on the Zen 3 architecture. Well, today we got just that. This information comes from Igor Walasek from Igor's lab, and it's a new engineering sample for the successor of the 16 core 32 thread Ryzen 3950X. Now, we don't have a benchmark, but we do have an ordering part number that gives us new clock speeds. The last time we saw that specific ordering part number or OPN it had a base clock of 3.7 gigahertz and a boost of 4.6 it looks like AMD made some improvements with the sample since it now features a boost clock of 4.8 gigahertz the base clock though is lower at 3.5 gigahertz now once again this is still not the final sample but it's clear that we're getting closer to that 5 gigahertz on the AMD side I'm not saying that it will reach it just that it's getting closer now not only is is the boost clock higher, but according to the changelog on the latest EGISA combo update, Vermeer, aka Ryzen based on the uh, Zen 3 architecture, will have per core voltage adjustment, giving you more granular control over overclocking. And the last update on Zen 3 is that apparently they might skip the 4000 naming scheme and go straight to 5000. The source is from Chip Hell, so take it with a grain of salt, but he's been accurate in the past for AMD leaks. Jumping to 5000 would help differentiate the new CPUs based on Zen 3 from the mobile 4000 and 4000 G series based on Zen 2, but it could be confusing if, for example, a 5700X CPU is released so soon after a 5700XT GPU, which launched last year. It might cause some confusion. That same leaker also added that the upcoming top tier big Navi GPUs will come with 16 gigabytes and 12 gigabytes variants. What do you guys think of the possible jump in uh, numbering for the Ryzen CPUs? Let me know down below. Moving on, we got some Intel news. Information on Alder Lake has been plentiful in the last few weeks, and it doesn't stop now. Considering that there's still a full generation of CPUs that still need to be released between now and Alder Lake, it's pretty crazy how much is leaking out. We just got the core count sheet for the entire lineup of the desktop, mainstream, and mobile 12th generation of CPUs. Intel usually uses S to describe desktop processors like Comet Lake S or Rocket Lake S, but this time there is also a P variant, which is likely the mobile version, given the better integrated graphics. Anyways, it gets a little bit tricky, but essentially there's four sort of groups, the two core, four core, six core, and eight core CPUs. Why do I have to split them like that? Well, because those are the big cores. As you might already know, Alder Lake will have both big cores based on the Golden Cove architecture and little cores on the Gracemont architecture. So how about those little cores then? Well, for the dual big core CPUs, you get your choice of zero small, four small, or eight small CPU cores. For the big quad core, you can get zero small cores or eight small cores. And and for the big six core CPUs, you can get zero, two, four, six, or eight small cores. And the same applies for the eight big core CPUs. The desktop chips will be equipped with GT1 graphics and the mobile versions with the GT2. As for the chipset, there will be four versions known as base, super, premium, and mainstream. So not only are we getting up to 16 total cores on the high end, we'll also get some interesting configurations like six big and eight small cores. With Intel accelerating their timeline, we'll see Alder Lake in about a year, second half of 2021 to be a little more precise. I wonder how Intel is planning to justify Rocket Lake and Alder Lake being released so close to each other. Anyways, guys, that is pretty much it for the news today. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Drop a like if you liked it, a comment if you want to talk about today's stories. As usual, you can click right here to see the latest video right here to subscribe to the channel. Stay frosty, my dudes, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Rolling them dices, I love it, I love it, I'm fine. Canvas for faces, I'm painting these pictures of mine. Rolling